Hey, what's up guys, Vulcan here. So today I'm going to be covering what is, in my opinion, the best mortar deck in the game. And if you look at the leaderboard, Lapokati also pushed to number four in the world. Well, he didn't actually use this deck. He, he used this deck like one game and then he used the mortar deck like literally every single other game. And so I saw he pushed up with it and I was like, you know what, I like playing mortar. I'm gonna give this deck a try. And it turned out to be, to be a really strong deck. Um, I'll talk a little bit about the basically the the main strategy is you know you mortar if you have it first <laughs> first uh in your first hand as long you mortar as long as you have like i would say archers and skeletons um either in hand or next next card in cycle if you have a really expensive hand like musketeer valkyrie mortar royal hogs a lot of times you want to wait like a minute before you play anything just in case because uh, you don't have like a cheap cycle to defend your mortar for positive elixir trades. Um, so sometimes you wait, you wait to make the first play of this deck, but usually you're just, you know, playing your mortar, you're cycling your archers, and you're using all the rest of your cards smart, smartly. And then once they use their big spell, or if you need to create opposite lane pressure, that's when you play the royal hogs. So let's hop into some live matches, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, I have like a really expensive start in hand, so it's kind of like. I don't know if I want to make the first play. Okay, we'll just go mortar now. I mean, we just gotta let that die now. So it looks like he's ice bow. Obviously. <laughs> so I just roll hogs, honestly. I could even zap, but it, like it's kind of pointless, and it could give him like a kink tower activation. So we'll split archers so as not to give him rocket value. Oh, play high musketeer to avoid the rocket value, as I said. And then I'm actually gonna go Valkyrie in this lane because he doesn't necessarily have an amazing answer to that. Gotta make sure that actually dies. So, pretty good. I would say we're probably pretty close to even on Elixir. Not gonna have Expo in hand for a little bit. If I mortar, he's gonna Valkyrie first. Probably not Tesla. Uh, we'll just go with Mortar. Wow, he does let any miss. <laughs> Just use the musketeer to kill that. Ooh, I tried to get down my Valkyrie so that the archer wouldn't die, but I wasn't quick enough. So, I mean... We're gonna do a def- this is like, so the Valkyrie doesn't hit our tower. We don't want him to, like, stack Teslas, so we're just gonna- that. And maybe he rockets this if he, like, is smart, does a prediction rocket. Uh, he doesn't. Okay, go archers one lane. Predicting the expo. <laughs> Gotta do a bit of dual lane pressure here. I mean, I can almost fireball cycle, but I want to play it safe. Let's see. Two zaps. Get down one zap. And we'll predict the expo. Then we'll just go fireball zap and GG.
Uh, again, I have a super expensive starting hand, so... do I probably just mortar anyway. We're gonna hope that we have, like... What? Bomb Tower Mega Mini. You don't see that every day. So I have no idea what he has. It kind of reminds me, like, of... Uh, oh. It is, um... The what you may call it deck, Graveyard. Okay, we're gonna split up his push here. I don't think he has Bomb Tower and Cycle yet, so that should be good. We'll try to do the trick here, where... It doesn't get a hit. Oh, almost. Like if you if you do it right when it locks a tower, and then you push it off with skeletons, the Ewes won't even get a hit on your tower. But it's really it's really hard to time. So we want it to go in this lane. Nice. Kind of defensive rural hogs on my part. Wasn't really expecting them to like get too much damage. So probably want to save my archers or do I split them? Yeah, I think I go Valkyrie. Because chances are he is great for it. Just go with a mortar. Then we'll go musketeer. Um, this will force out a bomb tower if I had to guess, so I think it's okay. I'm gonna go high musketeer because can't play mortar yet. Let's go mortar a little bit early because I don't want to waste my archers again. I can play my archers because I kind of have to at this point. Keep up the pressure, kind of. Try to get a value fireball. Just kind of keep up the pressure, keep going. Oh, we get one hog on the tower, nice. Gotta spread everything out, don't give him too much poison value. And then I'm gonna go here, yep, because I thought he might poison, so didn't want to give him all the value. We're just gonna keep forcing out that bomb tower. Like that way he can't get a big counter push on us. I think we actually just start fireball cycling, honestly. Just force out a bomb tower, hopefully. Guys, we pretty much won the game. And there we go. A lot of times, once you get an elixir lead, the important thing is just like... You're not necessarily even trying to win, you're just trying to stall out the rest of the game. And... Like, especially if they have bomb tower, you just need to get the lead. 
And then you just need to do even Elixir Trace and just stall the rest of the time. Ooh. I think I faced this guy and I think he's real giant. But at the same time... Okay, he's real giant. Let's just zap that. And then we're gonna go with Musketeer. Played a little bit high, so hopefully it kills his Fire Spirit. We're gonna keep up the pressure because he went with a super aggressive lightning. So we're gonna tr try to get some good damage on him. We're even gonna try to DPS down this Valkyrie. Okay, good. We came out ahead. That's why with Real Giant or with any lightning deck, like, never really want a lightning that early in the game. We'll just fireball it. Even. Even if I wait, I can't hit the Fire Spirit, so I kind of just have to do that. I'm gonna attack because I don't think he has a good answer. Yeah, he has to over defend it. And we'll just. Oh, three. Yep. Oh, I think he misclicked that part barrel. Now that it's double elixir, we're going to try not to give him too much lightning value. Here, we're going to hopefully force out the real giant. I mean, just fireball. I think we'll go mortar. Cause like, why not? Try to start a musket. Uh, musketeer actually. Okay, and now that he went with that aggressive, we're gonna go real hogs, and then we're gonna go mortar. Because if he roll a giant's into this, then kind of just like a suicide roll giant. Okay, if we can get down real hogs, that'll be good. And nice. Okay, so here, we just go Valkyrie Archers, no lightning value. The important thing is just we're never giving them good lightning value. Then, i just fireball that. Go Mortar. Go High Musketeer, just out of Barbarrel range. This way you can't lightning both. really have to get down that DPS. We can't sacrifice any more damage. And we're gonna attack just to make sure. Fireball. Zap. Kapow. We beat the Royal Giant. Low key, 
like super or maybe even high key like mortar kind of counters real giant it, it depends on the variation but i would say more often than not well it, unless i have like royal giant minor or royal giant uh, earthquake or something stupid like that 90 90% of the time you can you can beat royal giant not that bad it, it, it just depends on like how hard counter of a variation they have oh up against faust i thought this guy like retired or something i don't know he still played I guess I just go. I have a good defensive hand, so I'll go for it. Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna Valkyrie. I'll try to snipe that Mega Minion. Okay, now I have Fireball. This is good. So, I was thinking maybe he has Magic Archer, like, Mini P.E.K.K.A., but it doesn't look like it. If I had to guess, he has, like, Double Prince. Oh, nice. That's gonna be a lot of damage. Oh! <laughs> I was going for the King Tower activation! Now I'm gonna... Dang it, dude. I would've been up so much elixir. Like, I practically already won the game. Oh, man. Guess we just go archers with this, try to kill that four crosses. Everything just went wrong there. <laughs> Literally everything. Dang it. I like had the game won and now I'm just like giving him a chance to win. Like I'm not like out yet, but I went from a really good si situation to like a really questionable situation. Okay, we need to just finish off that tower. I'm gonna go there, there. I'm like, I think we defend this without even... Better predict, like, a Dark Prince in the middle or something. Archer's here, he's probably just gonna go in the middle with a giant. Ready. Okay, it looks like he isn't, so we'll just zap instead. Oh, he tried to prediction zap. We're gonna go with the Royal Hogs. Okay, probably a good move on his part. Fireball that. I think we will, because also it'll protect, um, like the Musketeer and the Valkyrie. And I still get sandwich on the tower, so it did. I don't know how much damage that does. Okay, we did not win yet. Oh, we gotta do one more push. Hopefully that gets a, I think that gets a hit on a tower. I think we win. Nice. GG, man. <laughs> oh, I, I almost choked that game so bad. <laughs> but that just shows, like... Well, I don't even know. I think it shows that Electro Dragon's really bad in that matchup. <laughs> it's not a good Electro Dragon matchup.
Okay, versus Swan, who is an Expo player, Ice Bow. So, do I mortar? Oh, I have a bad hand. I'll mortar now. I need a tank. Like, I, I literally have nothing. Oh my gosh, I failed. Yikes! Predict the expo. Okay, we didn't get the expo. I don't think we need Zap. Okay, I actually think that was like a big overcommitment on his part, so we're just gonna go with Expo, or with the Mortar. Okay. Uh, it looks like we were only up like maybe one Elixir or something. But like, maybe we get one Mortar shot. Definitely weren't down, Elixir. But that's okay. So, I don't want to give him a free rocket, so we're going to do that. We're going to go over there, try to avoid the Tesla. I mean, we're winning, so can't really complain yet. What does he have in hand? Dude, getting drag glitch again. Stupid drag glitch. Doesn't have a fireball, so I can kind of just do this pretty safely. And we're gonna predict the Tesla. Got him. I mean, my man doesn't even have a Nighting Cycle, so like he can't defend this. And we're gonna dual lane pressure, because you're gonna have to over defend. Okay, it looks like that's switching lane, so we gotta go in this lane now. Play high to avoid the rocket value. So this way you can't, like, stack defensive expos. Okay. Hopefully that dies. Over there. Just want to dual lane pressure because he has like. I don't really know how to explain it. I just want to. <laughs> just because of his hands. Because if he had defensive, if he had Tesla that, then um. Yeah, he wouldn't have been able to defend the Royal Hogs. Okay, so we go there, trying to um, kill the expo. Now we're starting the rocket cycle, so we're gonna go on the offense. Just keep trying to break through. I'm gonna go with another mortar since he started the rocket cycle. Can't get rocket cycled. Got a zap for damage, and there we go. GG. Oh my. <clears throat> Versus Azili's who... Yeah, he kind of has a card counter to me, I think. Boy.
He has Earthquake. Um, Elixir Golem. But do, do I roll? I don't think I roll Hogs first play. I think I just Archer split. Probably safer. It's tempting because he doesn't have a Fireball or anything, but you can get a King Tower activation. So, Leak and Elixir. I think because he has a super expensive deck, so we're just going to roll Hog Split now. Yay! I mean, I don't know if this is good for me, if I'm being honest. I really don't. Our barrel doesn't kill that, so I'll have to, like... Barb Barrel and do something else, or just do that. We'll go one lane. See if he activates King Tower. He probably will. Yeah, he does. I mean, not really anything we can do to avoid it at that point. We got a lot of damage, so we're actually looking pretty good. I'll Mortar even though he has Earthquake, because Earthquake won't fully counter it. Oh wow, and we got a, like, a decent amount of damage too. Go with the attack. And then... I won't try to defend without Mortar, but I won't use it unless, like, it's going to get some good value. Actually, I think we're just going to go again. Sure, he can Earthquake this, but still, it's not going to fully counter it, so it's okay. Because I, I was uh, counter-pushing, or supporting troops already. Okay, I can't... Dude, I'm getting Drag Glitch again, so stupid. I can't um, play anything high, because I'll just get a Value Tornado, so I have to... Go here, keep Offense and Mortaring. Because I have such a good damage lead on him right now. I mean, he should have to over defend this. Otherwise, it gets too much damage. We actually might have beat him. Okay. Gonna go all the way in the back again. Hi, Valkyrie. There's the first Elixir Golem of the game. Did we get him? Oh, there we go. I want even good game. <laughs> GG bro, GG Azilis. Wow. Beating all the all the tough matchups. We got I lost to this guy and then I beat him the second time. I lost to Azilis and then I beat him the second time. Uh oh, by this guy, I mean the real giant player. I lost to that weirdo deck. And yeah, overall, pretty successful video. We end 153rd in the world. I'm gonna stop pushing because I'm Probably going to record the video for tomorrow next. So thank you guys for watching. Feel free to copy and use this deck I got from Lafocati. And Vulcan out.